So now sometimes you might have a switch that you want to be able to control two circuits, but you don't want those two circuits to influence each other. This will work better if I dim the lamp. So uh, what I did here was uh, isolate one of the circuits from the other with a diode. So we can charge the capacitor and light that LED while lighting this LED at the same time over there. You can see both LEDs are lit. Um, but when I release the button, now the LED parallel and its resistor to the uh, capacitor uh, fades off right there, whereas the other one turns off instantly. So uh, when I press the button, we have pause display lighting the LED to the left, but also charging the capacitor and lighting the LED to the right, uh, but through that diode, which does drop about uh, 0.7 volts. But in any case, when I release the button, now the capacitor will not help light the other LED. It only has this LED it can pass current through. So we separated the two circuits. So now here's a schematic of the simple circuit I put together that illustrates how you can power uh, two separate circuits with uh, one switch. So uh, when I close the switch, you can see that LED lights up. This capacitor uh, charges through a diode though, so you lose a little bit of voltage. And that LED lights up, again, uh, through a diode, so it loses a little bit of voltage. When I release the switch, this one shuts off instantly. The capacitor has stored charge, stored charge cannot go that way. Um, it can only uh, go through that uh, resistor and LED. As the capacitor uh, discharges, uh, that LED is going to fade off right there. So that's an easy way to make a simple fade. Um, to be more effective, you would actually use this to control a transistor that uh, would fade off an LED. Um, but uh, the basic principle holds true here, where we isolate this circuit from that circuit. But we control them both with the same switch. 